Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be playing more Watch Dogs Legion. Let's get right into it. So, we have to meet the Albion and Farmer. Let's go then. He is right. We're gonna have to fast travel to Tower Hill quickly. And yeah. SIRS Counter-Terror Director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identity All right. of every operative in DedSex London cell. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, Counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. He's contacted. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Just a pill and a pint. Don't be so dramatic. Turn up the telly, mate! Video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. We stop before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat. Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Yes, I believe it with my whole heart. I'd even go scour the attack site just to out this wank stain. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Alright, so we've got to investigate the attack site.
This is the closest first travel checkpoint. So let's go over there. So now we're going after Nigel Cass, the new chapter. news a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSA app. This is the site where Nigel Katz was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Unbelievable. He's putting a blindfold on us, covering up his dirty deed. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Ah, oh, you've got more angles than a protractor, Bags. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Of course. Easy peasy. Construct the scene in augmented reality. They've escaped. We need to regroup. We have updated our terrorism threat level to severe. of the incident to view the reconstruction. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress.
this does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Right, so he could be a pro. Doesn't really narrow it down, does it? I'll go have a look-see. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fuck. That's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. I see. I suppose with the number of enemies Cass has made, there's no need to fake an assassination attempt. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Couldn't we also run the truck's license plates? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. That might be a good thing. We can exploit any sort of dissension in the Albion ranks. But let's make sure we're right. We need a better look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Now, why on earth would they move it to the Tone site? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, innit? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Too right. All right. <laughs> Nigel's close shave. Search for evidence at home. <laughs> uh, so let is let's fast travel to Viduct. I've arrived at the Tone bombing site. Are we sure this is where Albion stashed the truck from the Finsby attack? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll go have a look-see.
This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Jesus, he's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck, I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Going in. Badly charred. No rot smell. I think this is our attacker. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. But you can work wonders. Right, Bags? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. So, this is where I can expect to end up if I piss off Albion. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Bagley, make me proud. He's launched them. They're waiting up there and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse... He called them Justice, Demis, Drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and... <laughs> you always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom... I'm about to do something, something awful, or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me, less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by, by killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible? I'm sorry. I love you. Oh dear. The Themis drones are already launched. All they're waiting for is a patch that tells them to activate. What a nasty business. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bats boy. The Themis data we wiped the Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Excuse me, Bagley. You held on to the super-scary Themis project data? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. So, what do we have to do? Let's drive a car. 
over there. That's too far. I'm too lazy. communications hub but there's more security here than there is around the royal met stash you should start by destroying their encryptors if your hacking skills are up to snuff dominating a combat drone or two could help got it
One down, bring on another. That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. And we're off to the races. I'm reading incoming drones. Please, not Themis. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as those cameras go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work.
Sure, sure. Take your bloody time. I'm fine. It's almost poetic. Oh gosh. That's it for Demis fam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Nigel Cass has enough soldiers and weaponry to make Churchill wet himself. He has the public on his side, and he has us painted as terrorists. I'm afraid us going straight after him won't change any of that. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Hashtag just this fuck life. <laughs> right, attend the team briefing. insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Oh, Cass is good. He spends his entire career killing anyone he sees as the enemy. And then when they strike back, he cries like a little boy. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Actually, a few of us cooked up a scheme that could help. Badly, 
This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel has spun that interview with was spinning. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Van Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? I think an alliance is in order. We give her intelligence, and she gives our cause a signal boost. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot to help find something. Alright, hope you've enjoyed this Watch Your Dogs a Legion video. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. See you in another video. Bye.